Greetings, Dan Halligan from Kenta Games, and this video explores a unique component in the game of Obsession, the improvement tile. One of my objectives in making this game was to take a theme that had been touched upon occasionally in gaming, but always treated in a very light manner, not a lot of depth to those games, and make a game that celebrates Regency, Victorian, Edwardian England, that whole era, which is much beloved, uh, in a deeply strategic manner. And the improvement tile is sort of the fulcrum around which those, those typical competitive choices that you find in a Euro turn. And so as we look at the setting of this game, it's in Victorian times, the latter half of the 19th century, and the players represent impoverished aristocratic families living on estates in the beautiful rolling hills of Derbyshire, England. And these families have very, very respectable histories, but they've been struggling financially for an extended period of time. And there's been an unavoidable neglect to their country estates. So at the beginning of the game, each player's family has come into some new source of income. Could be inheritance, could be some overseas investments that have come back very favorably. And now, the, the players are intent on restoring, restoring their failing reputations and renovating their country estates. So that brings us back to the improvement tile. What do we mean by the improvement tile? The players are trying to restore and renovate a neglected country estate. And an improvement tile would be a room in the manor house or an outdoor space on the grounds that's been fully restored. To begin, I want to review the anatomy of an improvement tile so that our terms are clear. This is a typical tile, and in the upper left-hand corner in black is the name of that physical location, so in this example, the French Garden. Immediately below it in white is the social activity that can be hosted in this location. In the center of the tile, we have two brackets, and all improvement tiles will have some variation on those brackets. The left side refers to the requirements, the right side refers to the benefits. So here we have the people who can be invited to the afternoon social in the French Garden. If you don't have six gentry, which is male or female, they're the aristocratic social elite, that's a term that was used at that time. If you don't have six, if you have five, you can't host an afternoon social. Immediately below that is the essential servant, which reminds me i got to grab literally the best custom meeple ever made in the history of meeples. My favorite, the footman. He's going to sit here and hang with us and help us out. He is required in order to host those six gentry in, the afternoon, at, in an afternoon social in the French Garden. So those are the requirements for this activity in that location. An additional requirement is the reputation level required by the family to host this. So this six represents a high level of reputation enable in order that the family will be able to pull off what is a pretty elaborate social event in the French Garden, which is an expensive renovation project. A couple little housekeeping details. That dot is used for sorting the tiles and setting up the game. This tells the categories, so if you remember the categories, we have estate there, estate. This here represents the victory points at the end of the game and is used in the middle of the game when we evaluate courtship. Now we get to the right side of the bracketed area in the center and we see a benefit. These are fleur-de-lis or a stylized lily and these two fleur-de-lis represent a a prestige guest and this says that you can take two prestige guests as a result of hosting this event so because of the networking the connections that came from this large gathering very very impressive social event at your estate you acquire new connections in society prestige connections of the higher and more desirable type here is an um, a modifier for acquiring this tile when it's in the builder's market. It costs 200 pounds more 
than the standard space in the builder's market and that'll become clear when we look at that in a separate video. So that's the anatomy of a tile, just to review. The location, the activity at the location, the people required for that activity, the servant required for that activity, the reputation level required for that activity, the benefit associated with that activity, so at the conclusion of that activity you enjoy this benefit, the victory points which represents the impact on the family's quest to return their reputation to good standing. So this basically the higher victory points you get uh, the more you've been successful at that effort. So here we have another improvement tile. This one is a prestige category as indicated at the bottom. We have the same nomenclature, the physical location, the activity, the people that will attend that activity, the servant that is required, in this case the butler, the reputation level of the family, the victory points this tile is worth. You have a new symbol here. This is a lion rampant and these lions represent reputation in the game of obsession. So here this particular activity will generate an increase in the family's standing amongst uh, amongst the social elite. So there will be an increase of four points of reputation. And here again is a market modifier. It's important to note that not all tiles will have a market modifier. Just the ones that have a larger capital investment or a smaller capital investment. For example, a croquet field certainly doesn't require much in the way of capital. You know, pound in some stakes and cut some lawns, so that has a big discount. This one here with the price of art um, has, a, uh, has a modifier that makes it cost more. When an activity is hosted, so when a tile is acquired out of the market, it represents that the, rep the renovation has taken place and it's placed in your improvement organizer. If you never host an event, just the fact that you have upgraded an aspect of your manor house, it's worth four victory points for you at the end of the game. But once you host an event here, the tile flips and it is stored in the organizer on the back side. There's a couple significant things that happen generally with improvement tiles. We have the same physical location, but often we have new activities. So this represents that there was some new art acquired. You often as well have a change in the number of guests. Here a smaller number of guests, which can actually be quite advantageous because sometimes you might be um, unable to supply a lot of guests after hosting a big event and this will allow for say a one-two punch to be able to show your new collection off immediately after hosting say an afternoon social in that French garden. You'll also see that there's an increase in victory points and that's because you have started to show off what you have renovated and you have become more accomplished if you will at uh, that particular activity. Word spreads. Have you seen the art gallery that's over at the Ponsonby estate? And have you heard that they have a new collection now? You'll notice there's greater amount of reputation associated with this because the collection, the new collection, is more elaborate. And this rose is an indicator on all improvement tiles that can be flipped that you're on the back side. So when you're loaded up in your organizer, you can at a glance see that that tile has been played and hosted. Now there's an important consideration, and that is you may, you may say that, gee, I, I want to host this, and then I immediately want to host that again. Players have to be careful. The initial host of a tile increases the victory points. Future hosting keeps it on the same side. It does get you the benefit a second time. But your victory points, which represent the overall development of your manor house, don't increase. And meanwhile, you've lost the opportunity cost of taking another tile and perhaps hosting that and increasing the victory points there. So double or even triple hosting at a particular tile is a very critical tactical judgment. Sometimes you don't have a choice. Sometimes you have a choice and the benefit is so compelling you're willing to do it. But at other times you might need to pass on a second host in order to um, 
in order to increase the victory points on tiles that are currently representing a penalty. We're now going to get into patterns on the tiles. Okay, before getting to all five tile types, I want to look at these three because they represent a consistent favor associated with that type of tile. We've seen these two. The fleur de lis represents guests, and all estate tiles, all tiles of this color, generate something that impacts your deck building, the guests that are in your circle of acquaintances. In this middle category, we haven't seen this before, this is sporting, always represents a financial benefit immediately to the player. And in the bottom category, it always represents an immediate impact in the family's reputation. And so these are always consistent. Doesn't matter if we you know, grab another type of tile, it is going to have, for green, for sporting, it is going to have a financial benefit. A second thing that's critical to understand is to look at the pattern associated with the victory points front and back for each type of tile. So let's take a look at sporting tiles. It's important to note that all sporting tiles have minus one victory points on the front side of the tile. This is pretty critical because when you're acquiring a tile from the builder's market and you're placing it into your improvement organizer, you're actually um, lowering the net victory point value of the renovations that you've done so far in the game. Now why is that? Well, s sports in the 19th century not exactly treated the same way as sports in the 21st century. It is not a high society power move to put in a croquet field or to um, improve the quality of your kennels and, and the hounds that you store there in preparation for a hunt. Now, when you actually start to host fox hunts and billiards and start to have people from your circle of friends enjoy the activity, then you are going to realize positive victory points. So notice the pattern. It's always minus one on the front side, but on the back side, the victory points are one more than the prestige rating associated with these tiles. That's very interesting because it certainly becomes more critical to play a tile to host an activity in a, in a billiards room where the change in the net value of your victory points is going to go from minus one to four. That's it. That, I'm sorry, five. That's a change of six victory points, which is very significant indeed. We're now going to take a look for the first time at the essentials category of improvement tiles. And the thing to notice right out of the gate is that all essentials tiles confer absolutely no victory points for the player when they renovate that space. Why? Because we're dealing with a very basic expected space in the traditional manor houses of the era. Just just having a place to eat or a library is not the kind of thing that's going to benefit the family in any significant way. Now when you start bringing people to see the, the renovations you've made, they see the quality of what you've done with this particular library, or how you've restored your great hall, what you've done with the floor, what you've done with the with the, the ceiling perhaps. They, they actually visit, they see you, they see your staff, they see the elegant way in which you host an event. Then there is an impact and they recognize the value of what you've done and you'll get victory points that are equal to the prestige ratings of these basic standard manor house improvements. Now the interesting thing is while you'll get a victory point benefit and similar to the sporting tiles, the gap, because these are all these are all zero, the gap as the prestige rating goes up is more significant. That's a six point swing. And the six point swing is because when people do eventually come for an elaborate event like a ball, and they see the the quality of your renovation of what is a standard space in your manor house there's great benefit for you. So you have to have a little bit of a different approach when you're dealing with sporting and essential tiles and getting to the backside than when you're dealing with estate and prestige tiles where you can have front side benefit 
and not necessarily be hurt by by not hosting an event. But the real trick here is you see, whoops, sorry to bump the camera. There is, there's no, there's no favor associated with these. We have who should be invited and we have the essential servant and we don't have any favor. And the reason is, is this is a unique favor. I'll put that in quotes. And that the number of people that come to these particular activities is very large. Five, four, six. The largest groups that can come to a manor house activity are associated with the Brown Essentials improvements. As a result, they can be very compelling because you can pull out a large number of guests. If you have the service staff to support those guests, you can have uh, almost a customized level of favors associated with the guests rather than associated with the tiles. The final tiles we're going to take a look at that go into the improvement organizer that are the standard improvement tiles are service tiles. And service tiles are completely unique. Each service tile confers a benefit on your service staff. I'm not going to go into these in any great depth. They don't generate, the pattern is that they don't generate a lot of victory points. And they are not played, so they're not flipped. When they go into your organizer, into service, it just represents a permanent ability that will always uh, be possessed by your service staff. These, while they do not generate a lot of victory points, can be very, very significant in your ability to host other elaborate events with a more proficient servant staff. I'm going to do a separate video on service tiles and the final tile, which I'm not discussing here, called a monument tile.